Hi, and welcome to the WCPS Video Repository. Today we're going to talk about AirServer. AirServer is a program that you install on your MacBook. It's similar to Reflector in that both AirServer and Reflector allow you to display or mirror your iPad on your MacBook. So as you can see, I am mirroring my iPad to my MacBook right now. And if my MacBook was connected to a projector, my students would be able to see what I was doing. So as I scroll through the different pages, they can see exactly what I'm doing. Or if I wanted to work on a particular app, I could work with them on that and show them how the app works in real time. Now, a little bit about Error Server. Error Server is going to be installed on teacher MacBooks. We do not want to install Air Server on your PC laptop because when you get your MacBook, the license will not transfer. Now, each license is costing your school $7.99 a piece, so please do not install it on your PC. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like when I decide I'm not going to display. You're going to make an awesome display. short video. In Ooh, that got loud. And I'm going to turn off my mirroring. Okay, so now I'm just back to my MacBook. All right, so let's get started and go ahead and download it. To do that, we need to go to the internet. And we want to go to www.airserver.com slash download slash MacPC. Again, Please do not download it for your PC or you will be wasting a license. We're going to click on download for Mac and as you can see it's a very quick download. Once you have downloaded it, we're going to install it by clicking on the program. We have to agree to their license and their rules. So if you'd like to take the time to read through that, please feel free to do that. It's going to install it, and then it's going to ask where to put it. Um, for your MacBook, I do recommend that you put all programs in your Applications folder. So all I need to do here is click and drag it in. Now notice that I am getting a message. Since I already had Air Server downloaded, I'm going to click on Stop because I do not need a second version of this. Okay. So now we have downloaded it, we have installed it, and we need to talk a little bit about where to get the license for it. The license code will be provided by your school. Okay, It is a very long code, um, so please wait until that is available before you try this, unless you want to do the free trial. Okay, So how do I get it up and running? Simple. I'm going to go to my Spotlight Search. I'm going to click on Air Server. I guess I was a little fast on that. There we go. Open it up. And even though you're not seeing much going on right now, things are really going on. Notice at the top of your screen you now have a new icon, and if you hover above it, it says Error Server. So you have, if you have this icon, you have successfully downloaded the program and installed it on your computer. On our next video, we'll talk about how do I turn on Air Server from an iPad, what students need to do, as well as what teachers need to do under the preferences for Air Server. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.